Hi everybody, I am Delta Prime and you are watching Delta Prime Reviews where today we'll be taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron and Kingdom Voyager Class Tigatron. Now Tigatron is that gruff line warrior. Now, there is, I want to point out something before, I'm sorry, not Gruff Lion Warrior, he's a Gruff Tiger Warrior. And I want to point out something before we delve more into him. One, you can see, you see where bits are yellow? It's, those are supposed to be white. Those are what happens when plastic, when white plastic very a certain kind of white plastic is exposed to light it is called yellowing and it is bad on my figure look at that every bit that is supposed to be white is now yellow or just about every bit because there are certain plastics and they decided to use the yellow the yellowing parts the parts that easily yellow for joints which is stupid, it makes them more fragile, so I will be very cautious during this figure review. Secondly, I want to point out the fact that if you watch the War of Cybertron trilogy on Netflix, you know this doesn't look like Tigertron. Well, that's because they didn't make a different model for Tigertron in the show. They copied Cheetor's model and gave him a different head. So, in the show, we got this very slender, malnourished-looking tiger. But they gave us a toy of what he would actually look like, which I'm very thankful for. So, scan articulation. Head is on a ball joint. Can rotate 360 degrees. Can look up, barely. Can look down, barely. Same arm joint. Right there as um, Cheetor. So you can expect the same articulation all around. Swivel there. Swivel here. Swivel there. Double bend for transformation. Wrist articulation. There is waist articulation. Like you can kick forward that much, can kick back barely any. 90 degree bend at the leg, at the knee. Oh, there is a swivel there. There is a swivel there. So. And there are ankle joints. And this can move forward and backwards too. So, accessories he comes with this gut blaster that I wish Cheetor came with too. And it is also suffering from yellowing. And this does come apart. But I don't want to take it apart because I don't want to break it. Put that there. And then his tail, which is thankfully not affected by yellowing. So. Transformation. There's really no good place to start. So, we're just going to start at the top. So first things first, come to the sides here and pull these out. That'll allow you to pull out this piece like so. Open this up and then shove Tigertron's head in it to it and then close it back up and then peg into there. Now lift the arm up and make sure that you line this piece up like that. Do the same over here. Now, this is where the double hinge comes into play. Because if you didn't see that, if you saw that, you're going to hinge it like that. Alright, let me re. Alright, so hinge. 
it like this, turn it this way, peg in like that. Now you're going to close this up. Come to this flat back here, peg in. Come to his feet, fold those in. Lift them up just a little bit. Come to here and pull these out. Now I suggest take the tiger tail and you want to push these flaps forward like that. That will allow you to fold these in like so and create a more compact front for the tiger mode. Now we to bend it like that. Fix this, like so. So, pull that up and this back. Bring this back. Put the leg down. Come to the tiger forearms. And now, there's just one thing left to do. Take the tail and plug into his butt. Here, you have Tigertron fully transformed into his tiger mode. The mouth can open. And you may be thinking, well, didn't he come with two accessories, a gun and his tail? Yes, he did. Well, where does the gun store? Now, you would think it's a gut blaster, so it's store inside, right? Wrong. It stores right here. Right there. Worst storage option ever. I mean, come on. You could have incorporated it into the beast mode somehow, but you were lazy and chose not to. Like, seriously. I get it. I really do. You try to cut corners to save money. I understand that. But, seriously. Like, you could have, I don't know, play like, no, that was, no, not right there. Uh-uh, nope. But you could have stored it somewhere. But no. But other than that, it's a really good figure. And besides the yellowing effect on it that I really hate, it really has no flaws. So, yeah. I have been Delta Prime. Asking you to like, comment, subscribe. Maybe hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next video review. Bye-bye.